Hello everybody, welcome back to part 5 of uh, Coffee, to, uh, Coffee Talk uh, episode 2. I think it's, what was it? Butterfly and Hibiscus? My apologies. Uh, let's crack on. Load. Now I have to remember from the previous video I completely forgot um, that basically I have to give stuff back to people including Georgie and uh, that card of a girl with blue hair. Uh, I forget her name. But the video, last video on <coughs> Thursday was really good. I really did enjoy it. Um, okay, so <coughs> petition to combine Halloween and Christmas gains traction. Why? <laughs> That'd be a spooky Christmas. Um, and who wants to go trick or treating or whatever in the winter months? You know what I mean? It's bad enough uh, when it is, let alone deep into Christmas. Like, what the hell? Uh, tactical survival game. Uh, Krieg's Front 4, the final front, set to release next year. Don't know what game that is, but it must be pretty big if it's making headlines in this universe. Belltown Man caught after attempting to outrun police with a Segway. <laughs> Fair play. That coffee actually does look pretty good on the right, doesn't it? God damn. So let's start the day. Oh no. Is that how I started? Straight away? Oh no. Okay. It seems like we're out of ginger. Oh, damn. Catastrophe. Ah. I wonder, if, I wonder if this customer wouldn't mind running down the road and getting me some ginger. Mr. Hyde, welcome. Oh, he's Hyde's back from season one. Damn, we want the girl with blue hair to come in. Actually, before we continue with Mr. Hyde, let's check social media. Hyde. Supermodel. Look at him. He poses with bloody glasses. Great hair, great hair, I'll give him that. Let's go to stories. What in the Rachel, what the <laughs> Nico Chell, what whatever. I'm so excited for this secret project you'll see. Like that. God damn. Kitty. Yeah, or whatever. Anyway, um moving on. Myrtle. Currently hooked on this mecha tactic game. The mecha mechanics are is very interesting and inspiring. All right, fair enough. Lucas, are you available like this Sunday? <laughs> Lucas, son, Mister. Who? What? Oh, Emloy, the Fayweather, whatever whoever that is. I don't know. Um, Lucas, that's my finally get right time in my career. Either write a book or challenge a professional boxer. My God, Lucas, man, he got some uh, aspirations there. Huh? Write a book or challenge a boxer. I don't think the boxing things it'll be for him. Uh, it'd ruin his good looks, as it were. Georgie, so I was in the vegan restaurant. Oh my God, you've lost me already. And the woman said that she knew me, which is weird, because I've never met a herbivore. Oh, for goodness' sake, her before. I see. I see. Freya Fay like that. I get it. Alright, but well that's it for stories. Alright, Mr. Hyde, welcome. Hello, Insane Brit. Well, my name was Perry in the previous game, by the way. Uh, I didn't put that stuck in time, which kind of annoys me, but whatever. It's nice to see you again. How are you? Ah, well, I'm just here. How about you? You seem a little preoccupied. I've run out of ginger, man. Terrible, terrible day. Right, sorry about that. I just learned we we're out of ginger. Oh, I made a mistake on the weekly order sheet. And the remaining roots I have are no longer fit for consumption. Tut tut. Sounds like a rookie mistake, insane Brit. I know I'm ashamed. Calm down, dude. Our storage system is having problems because of recent power surges. That kind of makes sense. Alas, I'll stock up at the farmer's market tomorrow. Sounds like a plan. He's looking left and right like a... Yeah, <laughs> you're really busy as usual, I see. Yep, <clears throat> same old, same old. Yes, well, nothing wrong with a slow day or two from time to time. You say that, dude. I'm still trying to work out how you're living on like £15.50 a day. Although it's quite a week, if I may say so myself. It has been actually. Oh. 
Well, I'm listening. Oh, God damn it. Who wants me to talk about my whole week? Come on, dude. Pardon? Your week. Tell me about it, all about it. <sighs> you must be having a slow ass day or trying to avoid talking about yourself if you're gonna venture into a coffee barista's week. My God, I'm feeling down about it already. <laughs> Just thinking about it. Oh, mm, I'm not sure even to where to start. Try anywhere. After all, there's no way for me to correct an unheard story, am I right? Oh, I see. Right, fair enough. Well, the most notable problem recently would be the severe thunderstorms. Sometimes they cause our power, our powers to short out, which messes with the machines. So in case it happens again, my apologies. I see. Warning. What? Warning. Duly noted. There has also been this ongoing car vandalism in the neighbourhood. Check. Good point. Check your car, dude, if you came here by car. Apparently there's a s serial deflator or of tyres or <laughs> sorry a serial deflator of tyres on the loose officer georgie was the one who informed me about it we've got also a lot of new customers oh thank god just break me away from talking about my week <laughs> and i think that's about it <laughs> sounds eventful even if not terribly riveting well dude it, it, you asked now regarding the car vandalism you spoke about well, I drove here. Oh God. To what extent should I be concerned about it? <laughs> hmm. I wish I could inform you with confidence. Unfortunately, I don't know much about it. So, ah, Georgie's back. I can answer that. So we got to give Georgie when he orders his coffee that lighter. There's nothing to worry about. Your car's going to be fine. Officer Georgie, welcome. Hey, insane Brit. I managed to track down to track and narrow down the vandal strike zone, you see. Because the culprit seems to have a favourite spot. Really? Yep, and it's nowhere near here. Miss Riona told me what her car was affected as well, by the way. Oh damn. That's so. If she comes back you can ask her where she parked. Oh, I see, yeah. She comes back, can you ask which part? So yeah, she told us about it, and now we're telling Georgie, fair play. I got confused. Who was saying what there? Will do. Appreciate it. Anyway, my investigation's still ongoing, but I'd say that this area is pretty safe. So, you can relax. I see. Anyway, good evening, y'all. <laughs> Sorry for blocking the entryway earlier. I was finishing off my last cigarette. <laughs> because it's time to start a new one <laughs> do you mind not at all I think he's a smoker as well isn't he Mr Hyde meet officer Georgie he's in charge of the night patrol around here I assume they cheers I assume they met uh, last game but whatever officer Georgie meet Mr Hyde our occasional guest from Los Angeles and as you can tell by the hair and pale skin and whatever kind of eyes you want to call them he's a model a friend of mr gala ah the big hospital guy <laughs> yeah the giant then i guess i've seen you around a bunch a los angeles oh wait a los angela lino huh huh not for much longer though oh I'm in the process of finalising my move back here. Ah, with my modelling agency. Oh, so he's moving back here. That's wonderful news. Yay, we get more customers. <laughs> you lived here before? Mm, I think he stayed here, right? A few times. Just travelling back and forward. Forth. Oh, for about 40 years. Are you kidding me? I don't remember that aspect about him. Okay, so this guy, I believe, is a vampire as well. That's why he's... Looks the way he looks and has been staying that way for 40 years plus, so. When did you move to LA then? Around 20 years ago. Right. Ah. He's trying to work it out. How old are you, dude? <laughs> he wants to ask. Let's just say I'm nowhere near as young as I look. There you go. Oh. Models. Vampires. Gotcha. 
Then as a native Seattle, Seattleette, whatever, let me be the first to welcome you back. We got smog and Dow skies, but at least our coffee is second to none. Right and same Brit? I'll let you be the judge of that. Thanks for the warm welcome. Then have you moved in already or not yet? Preparation still needs to be made of the property I've chosen. Is it a fucking castle with thunder and lightning beaming out of it? <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> Bats. I wouldn't f uh, even think of packing until it's halfway done. Oh, I see. Good point. Yeah. Makes sense. That being said, I'll be here to oversee the construction for a while. Damn, he's having it built or whatever. If you ever need help, let me know. Damn. Can't do much by myself, but I can find a few guys who can. Although it won't be necessary, I appreciate the gesture. Someone like him has uh, a load of money and the best people on the job. He's probably one of those, how should I put it? People who've got like top designers to come on in and do it. You know what I mean? I could imagine him being a bit of an eccentric kind of, I mean, he's a model. So he wants it to look a certain way, I could imagine. You can see that, right? It's funny. What is? Quite frankly, the police force and I had something of a contentious relationship in the past. Uh-oh. I bet they were like, how's this guy like 150 years old and still looks younger than ever? You know what I mean? Plus, you know, every time a body, you know, was drained, they came to him. <laughs> you know what I mean? Was it a slap on the wrist? And, oh, was it a slap on the wrist and let's call it a day type of thing or the catch you catch me kind all I can say is live long enough you'll try everything my god those are the bygone years of course are you sure he's a model dude what kind of crimes do you need to commit now so does anyone want something to drink here we go of course naturally I think we'll probably end up serving the vampire first. Okay, he says after you, he's being polite. I assumed he was gonna was gonna uh, give it, uh, first order to hide because he arrived first, but okay. Well, a public servant should put the citizens first. So after you, how idealistic. But I insist. After all, I'm still considering my options. Well then, in that case, what will it be, officer? Right, now I've got to give him his thing. Just give me something nice and same Brit. Are you alright? <laughs> uh, not that great, honestly. What happened? Never mind that for now. I just... Now, i got a question for you. Okay. Did you by any chance see a lighter laying around here? We did. Oh. Yes, I did. I have it with me. Phew. That's a relief. Okay, and same Brit. Listen carefully. I need you to take this very, very seriously. Okay. I need that lighter back, okay? Yeah, that's fine. I mean it. I need it back. Or, this streak of bad luck won't end. Oh, I see. So he's a uh, good luck charm, huh? Pardon? Just talking to myself. Okay, yeah, I understand. Appreciate it. Would you like anything to drink? Just black coffee for me, please. But lightly sweetened. Black coffee, lightly sweetened. Okay, so let's have a look at the book, actually, the brew pad. Um, that's cafe, block black coffee. Okay, it's just, okay, not saying anything specific, that's tea. Dark chocolate, butterfly, sweet latte. Okay, that's a new one, and then you got undiscovered. So black coffee. Um, okay, and he said slightly sweetened. So where's the coffee? It's coffee, chocolate. Okay, coffee, coffee, and then something sweet. See, honey sweet. But what's the lemon do? I can't even remember. 
Oh, I see. Hold on. I see. Look, if you look at the bottom there, it's got what? How much sweet it is? Okay. I like that. I didn't even notice that. So there you go. That bang. Bro. Wait. No. Oh, wait. Now here we go. Give item. Whoa. Right, so fidget spinner was that guy. Don't even know what that is, that other thing. But we know this is for him, so. It excludes an interesting feel. Yeah, I know that. How do I move it? Oh. I'm trying to. There. Right. Serve it. Finally. Hello, old friend. Thanks, insane Brit. I suppose I owe you an explanation. I told you before, right? The slight is my lucky charm. No, he didn't actually, but I just assumed. When it goes missing, my luck <laughs> gets really dicey. Good God. Almost got hit by a falling fan at work. <laughs> Broke the missus' favourite mug. Oh, God. Nearly, so, what, nearly swerved my car into a sidewalk because a black cat jumped into my lane. My God, he's having some luck, isn't he? A black cat, not even a raccoon. I swear I'm not making this up. If that was a sign, I don't know what is. Uh, that is true. Obviously, I think most people know that black cats are considered unlucky. Um, to the point, this is no lie, that people don't like to adopt black cats. They actually give them up or they just because they think they're unlucky. Uh, I don't know how true that is. Well, in respects to like actual bad luck, I don't know. But people are superstitious. And uh, I mean, my black, I had a black cat for years. I don't think we had bad luck or whatever. I don't recall having much bad luck like that. Hmm. Maybe, maybe, I mean, basically you're looking at over the past 10 or 15 years, looking at everything major bad that happened and blaming it on the cat. Maybe it is, maybe it isn't. It is what it is. And well, my daughter's still mad at me too. That's true, she was angry at him for something or other, weren't they? They had an argument. Anyway, glad to have this back. Thanks for keeping it safe for me, insane Brit. You're very welcome. Here's your sweet coffee. The sweet in your evening, officer. <laughs> Let's see how he likes it, actually, anyway. We have black coffee with something sweet in it. Cheers, insane Brit. I love how it's been two games and I didn't understand uh, the... I weren't looking at the thing where it measures how much sweetness is in it or whatever. Ah, oh, such an idiot. That really hits the spot. I'm glad you... I'm glad to hear it. To hear that. Ready to make your order? Not quite. Do you have any suggestions? Ah, um, I'd say the blue thing. We have a couple of new teas if you're interested. Oh. We have butterfly pea and hibiscus flowers. Hibiscus, huh? Not an ingredient that's easily palatable when used in a hot beverage. Perfect, make me something with it. Are you sure? We are missing some ingredients tonight. Do you have any specific in mind? I'll let you choose for me. Just make it red. And who knows? Maybe it can be my new blood wine? I don't know what that is. Blood wine? It's fake blood cocktail. Oh, I used... I used to get it here. I remember he had some kind of synthetic blood he was having instead of real blood. Gross. Back when it was still a bar. I see, yeah. This place was a bar and then we I changed it into this, didn't I? Ah, I see. Make me a bold red drink. I'd like to see what you can come up with. Oh, God. So it's got to be red. Well, that's it's got to be that. Hibiscus is for one. Um, a bold red drink. I'd like to see what you can come up with. Uh, did he say anything about it being sweet? Hold on. Hibiscus ingredient that's easily palatable. Just hibiscus, basically. Hmm. 
Hmm. So, I don't know what. Hmm. I mean, I don't know if I could put milk in it. That'd be spicy. I don't know. I feel like it's. I feel like I could just go crazy with it, but I don't know. Lemon would make it sweet, but would it change the colour? I have no idea. I'm going mad with it. It seems to be red still. No. He wanted it red, trash it. I'm not having that. It's, okay, hold on. Yeah, yeah, well, I'm not making mistakes, no. Let's go milk. And then I'll put honey in it. Let's see how it comes out. If it changes colour, I'm not having it. Did he say? I mean, is that pink? What is that? No, I don't like it. I know I'm being fussy, but I want to get it right. Right, let's just go that. And then two of this, two honey. I want a red, I want to keep it red. There you go. Right, and there's nothing for him here, so serving it. Here you go, sir. Something red. So this is a drink you thought I might like. Uh, we thought it sank red you might like. Honestly, I'm not entirely confident, but this is the best I could do tonight. Looks peculiar, though. Hmm. How is it? It's tart. Astringent. D do you like it? You tell me. Ah. Uh, and I was looking forward to it. I'm sorry. <laughs> that wasn't what you expected. Well, you did you did what I asked, so no need for apologies. Next time you could try making something that doesn't taste like hay juice. <laughs> it needs some boldness. Something that can leave a mark in me. Okay. There is only one hibiscus drink that I have enjoyed. I'm curious to see what you can come... I'm sorry, I'm curious to see if you can come close. I will try my best next time. Damn it. Welcome. Oh, we've got a third customer in here. Oh, it's this dude. The social media influencer. Lucas. There. Damn. Oh. Oh dang. Hello, Insane Brit. Pops, nice to see you again. What's up? What's going on? What's going on with you? Me? Oh, well, nothing. Nothing much. You know. You know what? Let me move over there. I was going to say, it's being a bit awkward, dude. <sighs> right, here we go. We've got three customers. I, want, I don't think we've had more than three customers in the store. There we go. Sorry about earlier. I was uh, preoccupied. No problem. Is everything all right? Of course, I've always, I'm always all right, always, because I'm a very lucky, dude. Speaking of luck, did the lady ever come back? She did, but I forgot. Miss Rona? Yeah, she did. Really? Did you manage to give her my stuff? I missed the timing. I'm sorry. What? Ah, uh, how come? I've completely, I got other shit to do, dude. I'm. Oh well. Whatever, I found her handle on t anyway. Oh, okay. Oh? Not sure if she's even active, though. I'll try adding her and send her a message. I just want to apologise, you know? I'm really sorry for the trouble. Well, whatever, right? Anybody... Wait, what? 
any hoodie. <laughs> it's nice to see you again, Pops. Likewise, kid. Hello to you. To, uh, hello to you too, uh, sir. <laughs> he didn't know what he was. <laughs> I thought he was a chick, to be honest with you, when I first come across Hyde. Hyde, it's Hyde. I don't know if he's attracted to him or he's thinking about drinking his blood. I don't know. Wait, so you're that... You're really that Hyde. The supermodel Hyde. The big shot, huh? <laughs> oh, man. Oh, boy. I never thought I'd randomly see you in a place like this. What's that supposed to mean? No offence to you, insane Brit. Cheeky bastard. Get out, then. <laughs> well, I follow your socials, man. Big fan. I especially love the time the series you did for Boundless. Ooh. That's an old one. Boundless? It was a Lifetime magazine, no longer in print. Calls everyone. Calls. Oh, because everyone. Everything is online these days. Yeah, that's just the way it is. What was the series about? It was a photo series I modeled for. A bit of an on guard shoot. They were originally set to be displayed in time travel themed showcase. Wow. Unless the exhibition fell through, it does sound a bit unusual. So they they were rethemed and put in a magazine instead. Yeah, those were awesome. Hmm. I liked how the series showed peak fashion through the times. Yet the designs were so contemporary timeless even pun intended I'd love to see that <laughs> wait let me let me show you a couple of pictures from it damn okay hi looks great there colorless on colorless or not that looks pretty good wow nerdy totally different side of you hide oh wow you looked amazing mr. Hyde still do <laughs> I love his confidence of course. It was so cool, uh, it inspired me to find my own style too. Impartial 80s inspired look myself. Oh, I'm partial to the 80s inspired look. Okay. Really? I can't tell. Um. Not with, I mean, maybe the hair. I don't know. But I'm not a, I'm not a stylish person like that. You know what I mean? I don't like go back. I don't look back in the past. You know what I mean? It's my jacket collection, oh, I see. Huh. Glad it helped. I did, enjoy, I did enjoy experiencing some of those times again. Even if only for a garment, in garment form, I see. Even if it was, sorry, even if I was left with a melancholy feeling. But I just, I, oh, but I digress. Hmm. Would you like to order anything? Oh yeah, of course. Oh, by the way, it's pure matcha, I suppose, to make you feel woozy. Oh, I see. Yeah, he wants a matcha. I'm reading that right. I thought it was mo mocha, but it's not it's matcha. Pardon? I tried drinking some before lunch a couple of days ago. I felt a tad nau nauseous. Did you have breakfast? Nope. It's really strong tea, so it still not be consumed on an empty stomach. Ah, that was the main takeaway from our conversation, wasn't it? Duly noted, thanks. Then can I get a pumpkin latte? Uh, sorry, we don't have any of here. Ah, for real? You know, you know, don't, wait, sorry, you know, wait, you know you don't feed, what, need pumpkins to make it right? Sorry guys, I'm like struggling here. <laughs> oh, I've heard that before. Yep, but I have an open mind. I just don't want anything plain tonight. How about making me something based off a pumpkin latte that you have? With what you have. Okay, so he wants something pumpkin based. What would be a pumpkin based bloody thing? I couldn't even tell you. Uh. Just green tea, or oh, he said matcha. Um, I 
It would be sweet, wouldn't it? Hmm. I couldn't even tell you. Such a pain. Let me read what you said. Latte, some milk. I don't know. I have no idea. So he said something about tea. Matcha, something tea. Okay, now so empty stomachs. Oh no, this is weird. I have no clue. Those are teas. I'm assuming it was a coffee. I don't know. Ah, uh, I don't know. I'm going crazy, I have no clue. He's gonna moan at me like hell, but there you go. I just coffee, honey and lemon. <laughs> I'm not really sure what I'm gonna give him here. <laughs> it's terrible. Here you go. Hmm. What's this? <laughs> it doesn't seem like my order at all. I don't know, dude. Right, so it seems, I'm sorry, I must have forgotten something. It's okay. You can take it away. Understood. Once again, I'm sorry. <laughs> so, what's the matter? Bad review. <laughs> it's like, well, having a bad day at work. Okay. Huh? Why do you need cheering up, kid? Oh, about that. Just for usual work stuff. A few disagreements here and there. You know, any working team will eventually have them. Once or twice, right? That's a good point. Everyone does. <sighs> right. What do you do? I'm a vlogger slash influencer. Ah. I review a lot of lifestyle things like fashion, places, food, etc. 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 On the social media. You know, that criteria you said? Whatever. Uh, sometimes I do skits and such on my channels too. And pranks also. No, no, Pops. <laughs> no way. Real talk, though, well, I actually hate pranks. I didn't say it before, but I hate them. A lot. Is that so? I just think they're the lowest form of entertainment. Uh, yes and no. I mean, I've seen... There was something else I despise. You know, I can't remember what it is. Um, I think maybe reactionary content. I think it's the low form of, of entertainment i think it's one of the easiest things to do i think with least pranks you've got to come up and do do something and go out there and put yourself at risk over doing something like that i'm not saying they won't be famous or popular by getting by doing that uh but at least it takes some effort where reacting to something doesn't take a lot of effort it's just sitting there just um reacting and to someone else's work it's really even though it's like fair use i just find it kind of lazy it, whatever just cheap frills at expense of others. Right. But yeah, getting off topic here, sorry. So you're essentially the creator and the host of your show. What does your team do? My team helped me edit, secure sponsors, and massively boost the production quality. They're great, I owe them lots. Do you think you're doing well? Yeah, I mean, I think so. We get by pretty well. We were able to shop at my place, boy, every few days, like coffee and all the rest of it. <laughs> I currently reside in LA. For real? I did too, before I moved here. Why did you move? Um, Everyone seems to be moving from LA to Seattle at this point. He was in LA, he moved to Seattle. He was, and now he's going to move back. Why I moved? Uh-huh. I mean, because I hated it there. Not too crap on where you live, sir. I just think LA is not for me. No offense taken. Why did you hate it there? We should be good. 
It's a long sh and stupid story. I bet you got mugged there. Trust me. You don't want to hear it. Anyway, sorry for the tangent. You were saying? I've been noticing an influx of newcomers there. They are loud, young and brazen. Just like you. <laughs> yeah? The fact that you're able to make something of yourself out of such mundane nonsense. I'd say you're doing pretty well. So what's the issue? Well, I've talked about my channel situation here before, right? Yeah, you you said your views were dwindling. There you go. Calling it dwindling might be a bit of overkill, but yeah. That's why my team and I are trying to figure out what to do. Trying to keep the show fresh, you know? Truthfully, though, I've been wanting to change the show's direction for a while now. So he wants to change and, and do something different, perhaps. At the same time, you're abandoning your current audience if you change direction. So there's probably a disagreement in that regards. Which, what has been successful, you're de deviating from. At the same time, you either change direction completely and do a 180, which really will punish you for that. Uh, there's no, no getting around that. Or you edit what you've done with it a little bit and do a bit of a twist on it. So, you know what I mean? So, for example, if you did reviews of fashion stuff and everything, blah, 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 blah. The next thing you might do, if people are getting bored of the, of the content, you do you bring guests on and do a podcast and talk about fashion and bring on fashion models or you bring on designers and what have you. And you know, what I mean? you know what I'm saying? You do that, you do something a bit different in that regards to you know so you pivot it a bit it's still something new and refreshing and but it's still something that people may or may not be interested in you know what i mean it's still thereabouts so you're not you've not done a 180 he might want to do a 180 and they're disagreeing with him i even promised myself last year once i got to a certain number of viewers i was just going to do that was well uh, i've always wanted to do a talent show showcase segment you know so I could help elevate others like me. Then once again I ask you, what is the issue? Because it's because the money's rolling in, a certain amount of money, and he don't want to run away from that. And his team is like saying no, no, no. They don't want to lose their jobs either, because he'd have to fire all of them. My team thinks my segment idea is too risky, there you go. Don't fix what's not broken, they said, there you go. They just want me to improve what's, what I've been doing. And you agree? This is the problem. If you become bored of what you do, the, it becomes stagnant. And you all, like, so the audience may get bored and that's a given. But at the same time, if you get bored of what you're doing, you might want to abandon the channel, make a new channel, do something completely different. But it's going to lose you people. And that means lo losing audience members will punish you for it. The channel will be affected. The money will go away, the sponsorships will dry up, or whatever it may be, you have to be be smart with it. So, for my channel, I mean, I do gaming, and I continue to do gaming, and I'm, I'm happy to do it, because I, I love gaming. Um, and I just play different games, So I and I try and break up what's on my channel, so you guys don't get bored of the content as well. I'm not going to play free RPGs, or free open world games, which I kind of did actually, GTA. <laughs> That was that. I don't regret doing it, but it, you know, I try to break up different elements. This is totally different from what do you call it, Persona. You know what I mean? Even that's kind of a chill game. So yeah, it is one of those things. I mean, they're not wrong. The risk is real. After all, I'm not responsible only for myself. Yeah, there you go. I've got a whole team depending on me now. So they could lose their jobs, and they're scared of that. That's why I'm trying to find a compromise, at least until we become so big that any slight changes won't affect us as a... Will will the world wait for you though? I wonder. Huh? That's a good point. Will the world wait for you to be ready? Have you ever asked yourself? Mm, you see, making... You see, making choices is always a matter of priority. As you grow, your stake increases along with your responsibilities. Yes, it does. You become entwined to that audience. When to release content, how often you release it, what you release. You know what I mean? Um, it is what it is. As such, your excuses will continue to pile up. But given the pace at which you are going right now, I see your idealistic dream is unlikely to be realized. 
However, if if it's enough for you to just have good intentions, well, that's another story. <laughs> Are you okay? It's he's more or less calling him out on it. Like you've got to make that decision, and if you don't, you're you're gonna like stagnate. It's, you're just gonna be there forever doing that, and the world won't won't wait for you. It will move on. So you're kind of just oh, linger. Basically calling him out. He's being honest. It's like he's just being truthful. Some sometimes you don't want to hear these things, but um, sometimes you have to. The truth, a truth bomb being dropped on you, just has to be done. Well, there's a lot I need to think about. So I should go. He's he came here for a break, and he's ended up being scolded and told the reality check he didn't want to hear. Um, so now he's like, "Oh, f you've ruined my vibe. I'm out of here." Nice seeing you, pops, and thanks for your advice, sir. Insane Brit, thank you too. Hang in there. Yeah, you are too. See, see you tomorrow. See you around. Ooh, chase my customer away, hide. But I get, I understand. Georgie even like, welp. I've stayed too long already. So I better go and do my work. Uh, go do my work now. Don't want to get my pay doc, you see. Nice meeting you, Hyde. We'll see each other more often, I'm sure. Well, soon, I'm sure. Hopefully, nothing work-related. <laughs> yeah. Have a good night, officer. You too, insane Brit. If out there, officer. Will do. Until next time. Well, Hyde, man. Laying it on thick, but I get it. He's in that kind of industry as well. Things don't wait around. I suppose, I think Hyde's been a bit, a, a bit of a blunt character. Hmm. I thought he was a dick when I first come across him in season one, whatever. I suppose I should leave as well. I'll be back before long though. Please do. Hmm. Is there something wrong? Looks like the officer forgot his lighter again. Uh, it seems that officer accidentally drops it again. Uh, it ex excludes an interesting feel. Ah, uh, Georgie, you crazy bastard. Oh, what a curse. Oh no, you're right. I'll keep it for him. Thank you. All right then. Have a good evening yourself in St. Brit. Safe trip out. Uh, out there, Mr. Hyde. That concludes today, I suppose. My god, it's been a long day. Sugar and spice. Spicy, sweet and natural bliss in a cup. Sunday, September 24th, 2023. read the headlines don't know how long this video has gone on for uh, achievement what was that hello everyone what's it called we're all friends okay so uh, in Inumi and werewolves may share common ancestry archaeologists say okay lionfish invasion decreases success a successful trial Okay, so whatever, I think, I remember reading about the lionfish situation in the previous one or two videos, and apparently it's been a successful trial. Uh, countries to block foreign entry amidst unknown livestock bacteria infection. Sounds like uh, mad cow disease or whatever. What was it called? TB? I don't know what it is. I can't, mad cow disease? I don't know what they called it. It was going around. Or maybe, well, I, I, I don't know, I suppose maybe like the bird flu is that what it was i don't even know that was recent weren't it uh, all right guys that is going to be it for this video uh, this is friday's video don't know how long i've been on it for but i enjoyed this one it wasn't too bad it was interesting um hide back in the, in the uh, in the game and of course making his opinion um noted you know what i mean <laughs> giving that kid you know a dose of reality it is what it is um yeah he was like the spark of it thus far in, in today's video um but that's fine like hide he's a pretty good character to have uh, anyway, guys, uh, please like, share, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks so much for watching, and enjoy the coffee.